He's committed clear criminal activity. He's no more a journalist uh, than the chair I'm sitting on. Uh, the information that he divulged uh, did, in fact, put many people in jeopardy. Uh, it undercut the ability of the United States to have confidential diplomatic communications, not just with other foreign governments, but in many countries with dissidents, people who even speaking to American diplomats could find themselves in trouble. Uh, and so, you know, he, uh, he's been complaining about his treatment uh, over the past period of time. He's the one who sought asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy. Uh, now he faces extradition to the United States. I, I presume he will get due process in the United Kingdom to determine whether extradition should go forward. And when he gets to the United States, he'll get due process here. And I hope he gets at least 176 years in jail for what he did. Stella? Well, of course, uh, Ambassador Bolton is kind of the ideological nemesis of Julian. He has, uh, during his time for the Bush administration and later the Trump administration, um, sought to undermine the international legal system, ensure that the U.S. is not under the International Criminal Court's jurisdiction. And if it was, uh, Mr. Bolton might... Uh, in fact, uh, be prosecuted under the ICC. Uh, he was one of the chief cheerleaders of the Iraq war, which Julian then exposed through these leaks. So um, he has a conflict of interest here.